Yo, what's good, my people? So, hey, we live and direct. Real raw and uncut, man. It's early in the morning. Uh, we got a Zoom call, live call. We live trade every single morning for the most part. Uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, sometimes Friday. Uh, we actually about to get on the call right now. It is 6.55, so let me show y'all. Hold on. So it is 6.55 in the morning. We go live at 7. I got people starting to come into the waiting room now. Uh, and you know, we're about to get to it. straight live trading. That's how we do. Uh, God is good, man. I'm, I'm glad to be able to do this kind of stuff. Uh, usually, like I said, in the morning, I already know I get up, read my word, read my little devotionals. It's the first thing I do. Uh, that's most important. You feel me? You got to give God all the glory, honor, and praise for waking me up, for waking my family up, and stuff like that. Uh, and then we hit these charts and we make this paper. You know what I'm saying? So, feel good to be able to help and be a blessing to people. So, you know, I'm glad he gave me these gifts and abilities to do it. And that's all I try to do is teach y'all so y'all can have freedom, you know, financial freedom and do what y'all do. But yeah, I do got this system right here. Uh, this We usually get on this system after the call. So this is a new system that I created. It basically gives you uh, trades on binary options and Forex. You know what I'm saying? Just calls out the alerts. You're able to take them, make easy money, right? Kind of cuts out all the, the, the work you got to do, you know what I'm saying, to tell you what trades to get in, you hop in. So access to that, uh, if you want it directly on the screen, because the people who are in my mentorship, um, the only way they get it is that, you know, when I on the Zoom call, I share the screen, they're able to see it that way. But if you want direct access to the actual telegrams, then that's like 550 one-time payment, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so it's that exclusive. But again, you can probably make your money back within two days. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how you trade or what you, and that, that ain't a promise though. That ain't a guarantee as a disclaimer. I can't promise you that, but I'm just saying. I know I made my money back 10 times over. You know what I'm saying? Even though I didn't spend it, but I made, you know what I'm saying, a lot off of this mug. So, but yeah, y'all. So, we about to tap in and uh, I'll be right back. Yo, what's good? Make sure I let everybody up in here. We on the charts. So there is no news today, y'all, but there is a lot of news tomorrow. So definitely on tomorrow's call, we're gonna have a lot of news, CPI. So I see Brandon was already in the markets this morning. I already know you were. This is a smaller M1 zone. So once it breaks past that, it'll probably take off, which it looks like it's trying to right now. But it still got a couple more little wicks to pass before it uh because all these little wicks in here is a rejection. So if it push past the about this point right here, then it'll take off to the bottom. But it got it got it pretty much past that point right there. If it's gonna if it's gonna drop, so I'm gonna keep my eyes on it. All right, yeah, I'll take this one for sale. There you go. Let's go. Get that off the screen. That's what I'm talking about. Just don't retrace hard on you, boy. And we'll be in the money. Yeah, so far it look good, y'all. We got about 15 seconds, 10 seconds. Yeah, that's money. First trade in the money. Let's go. Out the gate. Let's go. Yo, so we had a great call today, man. It was overall a great call. The market was a little funny because I know we got CPI news tomorrow, but it was definitely still a good profitable call. But I just took, right now, let me show y'all, we taking these alerts. So I still got the Zoom running. Uh, the people can see the screen, so they just taking the alerts that's on the screen. I actually took some myself, which was uh, these two, the GUs, and that mug skyrocketed, and they saw it. You know what I'm saying? So these alerts is fire, you know what I'm saying? Big blessings, man. God is good for God ideas and strategies. That's why I pray for every day. You know what I'm saying? Give me new ways to, to see the market. You know, all kind of stuff. But I'm just glad I got a community that's able to be a blessing to people. And, you know, it's lit. You feel me? So, I'll let y'all in a minute. Yo, so I'm fresh off the call. Wife bringing me breakfast with her fine shit. Oh, my gosh, babe. Yes, babe. Hey. Thank you so much. You're such a blessing. Ooh, look. <laughs> hey. But now nah, look, results for the day real quick. On the call with the signals and all that, $744 live with the people. It's a blessing to be able to do that. And it ain't even nine in the morning. God is too good. 
I'm about to go in here and eat this food with my wife and the family, and then I'll be back. All right, y'all, so we eating breakfast. So what's in here, babe? That's tofu scramble. Tofu scramble. Well, at first, it's a um, cauliflower hash brown at the bottom. Mm, and then bottom. I put the refried beans on top of that, and then the tofu scramble. That's, of course, tofu. Mm -hmm. And spinach and tomato and some diced up jalapenos. Mm. Plant-based, uh, period. Plant-based. That's the way to go. I'm working on it. I ain't gonna pretend like I've been be on that. <laughs> Just incorporate little more, steps, more yeah. Meals, yeah. You know, trying to do a lot more meatless meals. Look at this yeah. one. Give me some. Look at them. I already <laughs> gave baby. you some, little dude. My baby. But yeah, I'll be back. All right, y'all. So overall, of course, you know, it's been a really, really, really good day. Seven hundred dollars today. Easy money. Matter of fact, let me get my phone. So I got to show y'all. What I withdrew last week, $8,100 from Pocket Options, five days ago, was my withdrawal. All right, hopefully you can see it. All right, that's what I withdrew from the markets. Big blessing, you know what I'm saying? We do this kind of stuff all the time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, once you, like I said, once you got your skills set down, sky's the limit on what you can do in these markets, y'all. 700 today, 8,000 last week. Usually I trade to pay my cards off, I told y'all, so I run my cards up. Like right now I got a balance on my Discover of 10,000. All right, so I'm almost to paying that one off with this account that I'm in now. Right now, I'm at like 5,400. Uh, hopefully, by next week, it'll I'll be at 10,000. I'll pay it off, you know what I'm saying? And I just do it all over again, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I do need to show y'all something fire though. Hold on, bruh, this right here, fire. If you any type of content creator, this little drone, cold with it. So, this right here is a uh, Hover X1. This drone is like having your own personal cameraman. Like this mug will follow you anywhere without nobody having to operate it. You know what I'm saying? Hover X1. Look at it. I got the white version. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have it to my face. Hold on, let me do it like this so y'all can see me. Current mode. Follow. Alright, it's in follow mode right now. So if I press that. Standard. Follow. Watch this. <laughs> Boom. All right, now it's about to follow me. Watch this. That's cold. That's cold, ain't it? Ooh. If I turn this way, the drone will follow me. Look, I'm going to come in here. Hey, and then all I got to do is put my hand out. Boom. Can't tell me that ain't dope. You can't tell me that ain't dope. Hey, this is one of the coldest inventions. And uh, it saves everything on this. And then you can send these directly to your phone or to your laptop, like Bluetooth, or they got an app that you can do it on. Hover X1, this mug fire. If you, if you do content creation, I also got another drone right here, which is the, uh, this is like my drone that I use for like, big aerial stuff like if i'm in um a different country or something but yeah this one don't follow you though i mean it does follow you but you got to actually operate it with like a um, remote control and stuff like that but this is the dji uh mini something like that dji mini 3 or something like that but this one pretty cool too if you don't know i used to be a uh professional videographer so I used to do a lot of like video work for people, music videos, photography, photo shoots, all that kind of stuff. Like that was me back in the day. I'll tell more of my story probably on the, maybe on this channel. We we'll probably tell it on this channel because I ain't never really tell my story. So y'all really don't even know nothing about me like that. You don't even know what y'all seen on the internet. But if I really die beat with all my old videos and stuff, y'all be like, what? So I'll probably do that on this channel. We're going to see. But yeah, I got a lot of uh, camera equipment stuff, lenses and uh waterproof cameras. This is the DJI Action 4, like a GoPro, but the quality on this is way better. But you can go in the water and do all that. But yeah, I be having all my little stuff, because you know what I'm saying? I be wanting to make sure when I, my content be on point, you feel me? But yeah, but it, anyway, it's like it really a blessing, y'all, to be able to, um, you know, day trade, had a freedom. Like, I made $700 and it's only nine in the morning. I'm already done for the day. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I always remember, I can never forget them jobs, man. Them, them warehouse jobs where like you'll be um, 
10, 12 hour days, bro, that, that stuff used to work my nerves. Then if somebody don't show up, you gotta get they load in the warehouse and all that. Like it'd just be a mess. Check only be five, six hundred. You know what I'm saying? I just made that today. And that's two weeks works. You know what I'm saying? Worth of work. So being able to do this and you know, take care of my family and um, you know, play with my kids and you know, enjoy time with my wife and go on walks and go shopping, you know, and just do it when everybody else is at work. It's just such a blessing, man. So I know y'all gonna get there and that's why, you know, I make the videos I do to try to help y'all. But I'm telling you, the fastest way to get there is through credit. I promise you, it's the fastest way to get to wealth, the fastest way to get to riches. I just watched a video the other day uh, about a dude saying that he got like 500,000 in one year from business credit. And then somebody said they got 20,000 in 24 hours. Like, you're not gonna do that kind of stuff at your job, people. And once you realize that, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably end up uploading those videos on the other page, my Forex page, but so y'all can see, like, it ain't just me saying this, it's millions of other people that's doing it, you know what I'm saying, that I know. And I'm like, look, it's a blessing. So get your credit right, people. Apply for as many lines of credit as possible. You ain't gotta use them all, you know what I'm saying? But at least you got a, a, a safety net, you know what I'm saying, for emergencies and you got investment money when it's time to invest. And then if you don't know how to do something, just go partner with people who do know how to do it and y'all split money. Just, just gave you the game. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is, people. So don't overcomplicate this life. It ain't easy to, it ain't hard to, it ain't hard to get to six figures. It ain't hard to get to seven. You know what I'm saying? Like once you get there, it's like light bulb. All it is is just information and then people uh, being willing to take action on the information. That's all it is. Like if you lazy, you probably ain't gonna never do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. But yeah, hey y'all. So look, it's my son's room. So I'm in my son's room. I was about to come up here and play the PS5, but this boy didn't already took it to his papa house. So I'm like salty. Now I can't even play it. You hear me? But it's all good. We're gonna we're gonna make it work. So listen, uh let me tell y'all. So this house that we in right now is our rent house. Okay. So if you don't know anything about us, we bought a mansion, it's like down the street, right? Uh like two years ago. Okay, we've been trying to sell that mug, you know what I'm saying? But the market is so crazy right now that it ain't sold, you know what I'm saying? So we've been on the market since November. It's been about six months, almost seven, I think, or seven months, something like that. But it ain't sold because the market is just crazy and a lot of big houses is just sitting. So we've been waiting because we was originally supposed to sell that house to move to Houston, but we decided we probably not gonna move to Houston. Too much going on out there anyway, you know, feel me? So we may just stay here and build you know, buy land and build potentially, maybe, or we still may move somewhere else in the future. We don't know. So it's still, all that's still kind of up in the air right now, but this is what I do want. Let me show y'all the backyards of where we at right now. So check this out, y'all. So look, this is the beginning of the backyard and then all the way to that fence is the end. Very massive backyards. Even this one over there is like super long. But if you can see over there, let me show you. So this right here, you see this little house right here? That's another little guest house in the backyard. And then they still got all that backyard left to put whatever they want. So they got a pool and then a guest house over there, which is dope. But I said all that to say this because uh, that's what I want when I get, you know, my second big boy house. You feel me? So that's my goal um, is to get some land because our the house we in now it was big as heck but it didn't really have no land we had a pool had a little mini basketball court back there but it don't got no land you know what i'm saying i really want at least an acre or two maybe three acres of land uh to be able to you know do full court basketball um of course still had a pool still have enough to do you know other stuff in the backyard for family and stuff like that so that's kind of you know the vision for the next one um, and just kind of being not too secluded because I do like having neighbors, but they ain't got to be so close. But potentially having it to where we kind of, you still got neighbors, but they kind of a little spaced out. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, sometimes neighbors can be all in your business. You know what I'm talking about? But definitely that's that's the goal um, for now. We'll see what the Lord do. Now, if we find a super dope house that ain't got much land, but the house is just super fire, that'd probably be the only way we end up doing it without the land. But we gonna have to see but we still gotta wait till the house sale you know what i'm saying but it's a blessing you know what i'm saying to be able to pay on two houses at the same time like we still paying all the bills over there and we ain't even lived over there in months uh and we paying all the bills here and just to be able to do that alone 
it's good. And that's why it's important to uh, have good cash flow. Remember, I was telling y'all about that on the other channel. You know, keep your cash flow high so that way you're not stressed out. We're still able to take trips. We're paying for two cribs. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. And still able to take trips and still able to enjoy life because we learn, we're learn learning how to manage money well. We had some hiccups, you know what I'm saying, uh, on management and stuff like that. But the Lord dealt with us on that kind of stuff. And that's why now we really learning how to manage our money better, um, you know, with certain stuff. You know, at the beginning, we was making good money. And, uh, you know, we just did a whole lot of stuff. We did a whole lot of stuff for people. First thing we did, of course, we paid off student loans. I was first, got that stuff knocked out. You know, we bought people cars, bought family member cars, and, you know, helped people renovate their houses and all kinds of stuff. We was just doing so much stuff for people. And uh, now it's like, we, like, okay, let's focus on us, our family, our goals, our, you know, every, the beginning of the money was everybody else, everybody, you know, family and friends and everybody all in here. Oh, y'all the first to make it. Y'all the first to do this. And I need help with this and I need help with that. And, you know, that just comes with it. You know what I'm saying? So now, we to the point where like, okay, all that's out the way. You know what I'm saying? Now we can just focus on us and what we need and the stuff that we got going on. So, you know, and it's it's rough. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Having a lot of money is dope. Don't get me wrong. But having a lot of money, it don't change you, but it changes the people around you. You know what I'm saying? Because you find out that a lot of people start acting different. They start acting weird. You know what I'm saying? When money get involved, people you never even want a dog. You know, and you just got to be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if I had to do it all over again, uh, I probably wouldn't have told everybody we had bread, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I probably would have kept it to myself, like, a little bit. Now, they would have probably noticed once we start buying a little stuff here and there, but I probably wouldn't have just been like, hey, we up. You know what I'm saying? We got all this bread. But, you know, it come with, you know, learning, wisdom, and stuff like that. So that's just a note. You know, when you start getting paper, Keep it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, now, again, if the Lord has called you like he called me to be a blessing, you know what I'm saying, and help. Now, this industry, I already know, for it, like, you got to low-key kind of show some stuff for people to even believe what you're talking about because there's so many fake people out there. But, you know, so you got to show a little something. But if you ain't got to do what I'm doing, then definitely keep that to yourself. And everybody not going to be happy for you. Trust me, as happy as they pretend they are, they not that happy for you. Most people will wish you would fail anyway. You know what I'm saying? Especially in your own city, so... You guys to be careful out there in them streets. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. Yeah, y'all. So I'm in here. Wifey putting some, uh, what is this? It's cocoa butter and vitamin E. Cocoa butter and vitamin E on my arms. Because when we was in Mexico, I was out there getting scorched. You know what's so crazy, though? I was laughing at this dude. It was this black dude out there. And he looked like he was had butter all over his skin, just just glossed out with all that uh sun sun lotion or whatever. And I was cracking up, but then when I got home, hopped in that shower, my shoulders was burning. I said, "What?" And they started peeling. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if y'all can see them, but yeah, it's like it been peeling a lot. Both both arms. So I said, "That's what I get." Yeah, I said, "That's what I get for laughing." See, karma. Fire me up. <laughs> but yeah, put some over here too, babe. I need that. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all. So, like, usually in the morning, since I get up at, like, 4 or 5 in the morning, I don't be having time to, like, work out. So, my wife, she's able to just go out, go to the gym. But, like, after I'm done with my reading my Bible, my devotional, doing all that stuff, right, uh, I don't even got time to work out. So, by the time I'm done, I got to hop straight on the calls and start live trading and do all that. Then my day go from there. So usually after the call is when I try to get a cool little workout in. You feel me? Because you got to. You know what I'm saying? Some days I go to the gym. Some days I go hoop at the gym and stuff like that. But if not, then most of the time I'm at the house with it, you know, doing pull-ups, push-ups. <laughs> I love her plan. Dinosaurs. Oh. And Legos. Dinosaurs and Legos. That's Legos. lit. I'm gonna go get my robot. Okay. Let's see what y'all got popping over here, little dudes. Daddy. What's up? Daddy, if I put this hat on, that means I need to. Oh. I need to get to control this robot. 
Oh, that's dope. Yeah, man, so your boy got to go to the gas station, put some gas on Wifey's whip, so y'all going to come with your boy. Let's get it. Hey, y'all, when it comes to, like, renting versus buying, I ain't going to lie, man. Us being stuck in this house uh, that we ain't been able to sell got me feeling like renting is the better play, man. Especially, I think renting is really dope when you, like, really don't know like what you gonna be doing in the next five years uh, and all that kind of stuff. So when we decided to up and move, we couldn't because we got stuck in the house that wouldn't sell. So renting is cheaper than buying when you think about it. A lot of people would say rent is throwing away money. It really ain't though, you know what I'm saying? It really ain't. Like you could basically, so like it took us like for our down payment for the house that we had was like 150,000, right? To, for the down payment uh, when we got the crib, right? That 150,000, could have, could have went towards an investment property or it could have went towards something else. And then when you rent, you, you only need the deposit and then you in there, you know what I'm saying? You can get the same luxury living, you know, and you flexible. If you want to break a lease and go ahead and move to California, move to Florida, whatever, you could do that. But when you buy, you like low-key stationary and stuff. And you got to wait till somebody buy the crib, you know what I'm saying? And like, I don't think people factor in like all the maintenance costs that go with having a house. So I'll tell you this right now, like, we, our house was older, so our house was built in like 2002, no, 2008, 2004, 2004, right? So it was like a 20 year old house. Um, and when we got it, we had to do a lot of renovations, you know, and we had to like, so like all, it was like four or five AC units went out at the same time, right? And that ended up costing us like 40,000. Then our uh, the fridge went out because it was 20 years old. And we had to get that replaced. All that was like a whole lot of money, you know what I'm saying? So renting when when something break down somebody gonna come fix it you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta worry about all that you know what i'm saying so they definitely got their benefits um long term of course buying is definitely gonna be the play if you stationary and you know you're gonna be there but if you kind of like you don't know you know if you want to move later on in life and stuff like that i would definitely just rent and take all the extra money that you was gonna use for the down payment and invest it you know what i'm saying and it's a win-win you feel me so you know it's a whole lot more to go into that you know what i'm saying um but but yeah, so heading down here and uh, about to, you know, get some gas and then, uh, you feel me? See what you do. You know, just hanging with your boy today. Just literally what my life look like every day. I don't really be doing a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? I just be chilling, you know what I'm saying? And then when we decide to do a trip, uh, we do that. Like, we got a 90s party coming up, which is going to be dope. Uh, me and my wife got some dope fits for that. Uh, and we got, like, uh, another Mexico trip coming up with my boy Loso for his birthday. So that's going to be a dope vlog. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming up. We should think about doing a cabin trip for the family because we like doing those like every year. We still don't know if we're going to do that yet. So I'll keep y'all posted, man. But I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy today. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I know I got to fill that baby up. You feel me? But yo. As far as the housing stuff goes, um, I'm not buying no more old houses. It was a blessing that we got the house. I love the house. You know, I still love it because we put a lot of stuff into it. But it's just a lot of work when you buy older. Uh, from here on out, I'm buying them but modern houses. You feel me? Modern out. You know what I'm saying? And that way, stuff will last longer. Stuff like that. And it just looked doper. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't going to lie. We had an opportunity to get a modern house. But I turned it down because it was smaller. And I told my wife about the potential of the one we in now. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, look at the potential of it. And she was like, mm. so she went along with it, but now we stuck in it. And now she like, look, <laughs> but yeah, y'all, it be like that. Yo, so the food is here. Your boy got McAllister's. You feel me? Take out for lunch. It's giving takeout for lunch. This right here. That's what half and half. With the broccoli cheddar soup. So good. Uh, no, nah, like, 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 but yesterday, remember, yesterday I said I wanted a whole sandwich because I ate half and oh, it was yeah, super good. Did. I was like, I need more of that. Why don't we get one cookie? No, it was oh, one cookie for them babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all, so we about to watch uh, Super Fall, I think it's what's called. Super Sale. Super Sale. Whoops. Just, just trying to see, you know, what it's talking about. Let me show y'all. So it's called Super Sale. Some of y'all probably already seen it. Heard it was pretty good, so we decided to check it out. A little, little black superhero movie, so. Or a series. See what it's talking about. Hey, I'm about to enjoy my time. Let's get it. Salmon, potatoes, and broccoli. Ooh, wee. And never mind the paper plate. We ain't wash no dishes. Come on now. In real life. So listen, 
this is the end of this vlog, man. I'm about to just enjoy this food. You feel me? And I'm um, about to finish watching this show. And, you know, I'll catch you on the next one. You feel me? I'll let your boy. Peace.